How's it going everyone? Beautiful people of Instagram, this is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist coming to you from the art studio, corner of the art studio, you guys can see. I'm not in the bathroom, this is just toilet paper to clean, to clean my table. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if I was in the, in the toilet here. Oh, hey, the toilet paper. <laughs> so anyways guys, uh, I wanted to talk to you really quick about uh, art marketing today. A little slight reminder, I do art marketing videos on Facebook on Tuesdays at noon mountain time. And I just want to share a little bit of the message that I spoke on Facebook uh, uh, here on, for, for my awesome peeps on Instagram about art marketing. Now guys, I'm not, uh, well, <laughs> my fruits would show it, right? I am not this famous artist or, or, or you know, big time artist, none of that. I'm an artist who's... Uh, you know, I'm batting every day. You know, I'm 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 shooting every day. I'm doing the thing. You know, I'm 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 creating artwork. I'm marketing my work. I'm talking to people. I'm talking to collectors. I'm getting my name out, and you know, uh, trying to sell my work, and on and on and on and on. There's certain things that have helped me being an artist. There's certain little things that have helped me uh, to to sell my work, to produce work, uh, to produce work. <laughs> One of the most important ones. And certain little things that I've been sharing along the way. For those of you who haven't seen uh, my stuff, check out my videos. They're really cool, instructive, instructional, and uh, motivational. Motivation. <laughs> so what I wanted to talk to you really quick today about was in art marketing, which is a message that I just shared, uh, is that there is one thing in art marketing that will make you or break you. This is one of the things that I found out. It took me blood, sweat, and tears to uh, recognize this. But uh, once I started catching up and understanding it, really understanding it, not from a mental perspective, but from a, from a hands-on point of view, what I started learning was that in art market, in the art market, what matters the most is to be able to be seen. Now, this is, this is very obvious, but it's also been very uh, uh, flipped, I guess. People haven't really talked about it, uh, maybe maybe in other circles, I don't know, but I haven't heard people really talk about it in a more profound way. What I mean by this is that, is that when people talk about art marketing and being seen, usually we think of, well, you know, you got to get your name out. You got to get, you know, got to get exposure. As artists, we, we hear this a lot. You got to get exposure. You got to get your name out and blah, blah, blah. And it sounds very abstract, right? And... But it's but not until recently we've heard things like build an email list, you know, get an audience, get that that kind of stuff, right? And we usually hear it from non-art people. Some art people are saying it, but it's usually it's usually e-commerce marketers and you know Shopify type of people. And they you know they're the ones I feel like understand that more because they're more engaged in that in that uh, uh, in that movement. They create that that sort of movement. Uh, online marketers and all these, you know, all these uh, awesome people. But uh, the one thing that makes your breaks as an artist is not being seen. It's so obvious, but it's so crucial. Most artists uh, that I've talked to, anyways, focus, this was me also for the longest time, we focus on creating artwork and creating the best possible artwork. And we think if we build it, they will come, right? This is one of the... This is one of the biggest myths there, there, there is on being an artist, right? If you just create great work, great content, this is another thing that marketers also, uh, some marketers out there don't understand. If you just create great content in our space, meaning great artwork, people will just flock into your door or your art gallery or your exhibit and they're just going to be like, here's my money. Take my money. Let me have that artwork because I've never seen anything like it. And of course, anyone that knows about this knows this is not true because it's experiential right you you have to be able to experience it if you if you hear this type of stuff and and you know you're like oh yeah yeah well all i have to do is create great work you get stuck on that on the back of that truck let's call it let's not even call it a wheel a hamster wheel you get stuck on the back of that truck forever and no one saves you because no one really not no one but not everybody talks really honest about this kind of stuff look guys you want to be able to create artwork. And I'm talking to, to those who are maybe starting out because maybe there's people that have vast experience here that are listening to me. And, you know, believe me, I, 
I would love to learn from you as well. <laughs> but you want to start with what you got. You don't want to wait till your artwork is great. You don't want to wait till you, st you know, you don't want to wait till, till you have 10 ribbons that say great artist first place. You don't want to wait till then. Now, it'd be nice. Yes, of course, it would be nice for you to have all your little ribbons and your, uh, you know, your gallery exhibit list and blah, blah, blah. You know, what, what, what do they call that? Uh, I don't know what it's called. I forgot what it's called. I, I, used, I used to have those uh those lists of, anyways, <laughs> when you show the gallery, right, you want to show the gallery, uh, is your curriculum vitae, I think the CV. Uh, so you don't want to wait till that happens or till you feel like you're a good artist to start showing yourself. Here's the reason. If you're not being seen, you're not being considered. And if you're not being considered, the chances of you selling your artwork, showing on a, a gallery exhibit or whatever, are very low. Very, very low. We live in a world where talent alone does not cut it. I mean, I don't think it's ever cut it alone. It has to be a mixture. I'm not saying no talent and all marketing. I'm not saying that because we've seen that over and over, that it doesn't work that way either. There needs, there needs to be, you, you can't compromise your talent, of course. You're an artist. But you don't want to neglect being seen because that will, won't, won't let your artwork rise and, you know, and, and, and be seen by people. You want your work to be seen by people. This is one of the things that, you know, we look back and we look at Van Gogh and we think about, oh, poor Van Gogh, you know, poor guy, blah, blah, blah. Such a great artist, such a great talent, got wasted and blah, blah, blah. The reality is that it, it wasn't only that got wasted. It was, you know, it wasn't that, that, oh, Van Gogh, you know, didn't know how to manage himself or blah, blah. No, really the reality is that he wasn't, he wasn't being seen enough. Well, he was alive. He wasn't. He had a group of people that probably knew him and whatnot. That's how he probably met Galgan and his brother. And those of you who know art history know that more than I do. But uh, but he wasn't being seen in a way where he was constantly being considered. Like, oh yeah, let's have oh art exhibit. Yeah, let's have Van Gogh. Oh, there's another art exhibit. Yes, yeah, Van Gogh. Oh, I want a commission. Oh, did you think about Van Gogh? Let's go get Van Gogh. No, dude, because nobody was nobody was thinking about him. You know, nobody was thinking about it because nobody was seeing him. We only think about the people we see. That's that's I mean marketing 101, right? We only think about the things that we see. And I know again this is redundant. We know this kind of stuff, but uh I wanted to just share this again, you know, because this is one of the things that I forget about. You know, you're not being seen. You're not going to be flow. You know, people are not going to flow you if you're not seen. And and many times we scratch our heads and we're thinking, man, why am I not selling artwork? Well, two things could be going on right there. You have may not be you may not have. A, first of all, the, the main thing is you don't have a big enough audience. How many of us have seen people that we're like, man, I, I paint better than that. And they're selling their work for like thousands of dollars and they have like these huge audiences. We've seen that, right? <laughs> we know it's true. And, and and I'm not trying to say this in a negative way or not. No, they've earned it. They earned their, their they didn't wait till you and I thought that they were great in order for them to create an audience. They didn't wait. They were smart, they were smart enough not to wait. And this is my message to one or two that may be uh, benefiting from this message. Uh, don't wait. Don't wait because that's why we see people that are, we're like, man, don't you think there's actors out there in Hollywood that are like, man, I, I'm a better actor than so-and-so and this person's always getting the parts because that person's always being seen. That's why they get the parts. And unless we learn that, you know, that it's not your, it's not your talent. Like our talent, it's personal. It's for us. You know, let's say maybe you want to paint like as good as Michelangelo or whatever. You know, pick anyone, kind of as you, any, 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 anyone that you think, oh, wow, you know. Uh, our work, our personal work, you know, maybe you want to paint like that. Well, that's personal. But what, what the market wants, right, we don't know. So you got to be seen. In order to be considered, you know, the more you're seen, then the more you find people that are like, oh, yeah, I like the, I, you know, I dig the way this guy paints. This guy paints like Monet or this guy paints like Michelangelo or this guy's very unique. But even if you're extremely unique and you're not being seen, no one's going to say that because you're going to be, you know, painting in your, I don't know, in your studio and I don't know, in whatever city you are, 
by yourself, you know, trying to make it. And be like, oh, I'm trying to make it. Because I think that if I paint great stuff, I'm going to go viral and everyone is going to love me. And it doesn't happen that way. If you build it, sad, sadly, no, they won't come. If you build it, they won't come. If you go to them, you may get a chance. If you go to them, you might be considered. If you go to them with talent, your chances of being considered are tremendous. If you go to them without talent, you're still going to be considered. But if you have talent, but if you do have talent and you, you, you practice, whatever that means, right? Which means that you practice your skills. Um, then considering you, it's just going to be much higher. You know, and that's why we see people like, I mean, think of anyone. Think of any artist. We, we look at this artist and we're like, how? You know, I, I love Matisse, but so many people don't. You know, so people say, oh man, how, how, how did he even make it? You know, how did he even, you know, create this blah, blah, blah. And there's so many theories around and blah, blah, blah. The reality is that these people were branded to a whole other level. They're, they were branded like today Justin Bieber is branded. You know, or, or, <laughs> or Beyonce or any of those great artists. They were branded like that. That's, that's the reality. They, were, they, were, they had a lot of talent. And they were very branded, you know, worldwide. Uh, countries branded them. And we are able to do that in a micro level today because of social media. I mean, pick any social media, you know. We're able to do that in a micro level. And if you have the funds and the way to do it on a macro level, by all means, I mean, go for it, you know. But we have that opportunity. Anyways, I don't want to make this too long, guys. Just wanted to share this really quick. If you like it, give me some hearts. Da -da 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 -da, some hearts. If you don't like it, give me some hearts. Anyways. <laughs> My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist, guys, coming to you from the art studio. And just wanted to share a little bit about uh, art marketing. And remember, if you, wanna, if you want to sell your artwork or exhibit your artwork, you first have to be considered. And the only way to be considered, you first have to be seen. You're seen, then you're considered, and then you might exhibit or sell. I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, D. Tom says, thank you so much for talking about this subject. Uh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. These are things that I'm going through, guys. Uh, I'm not by any means, a, a, you know, an, an art teacher or anything like that. I'm just an artist who's, who's shooting, you know, who's doing his thing. I'm working at it every day. Um, I'm marketing my work. I'm getting my, trying to get my, my, my stuff together, my, my ducks in a row or whatever. And there's little things that I've been learning. And some of them have been very painful to learn. And I just want to share them with you guys. Maybe, maybe one or, you know, one or two of you guys uh, might take, you know, take the, the advice or take the, 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 you know, get some value out of it. You know, this, I don't like this guy's work, but what he said, man, that makes a lot of sense. Let me try that. Who knows? <laughs> Take more risks <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but yeah, you know, oh yeah. <laughs> Take more risks. Yeah, I get some great advice, guys. Uh, my, 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 my little uh, place here where I, where I paint uh, the, the easel says take more risks. In the middle it says focus. And on the, on the far right, or left for you, I don't know, over there, it says uh, challenge yourself. You want to be able to challenge yourself daily, whatever that is. I talked about it in a video I just made right now on, on Facebook, well, not right now, but some minutes ago, where I talked about, look, if you, if you are not doing something that, that's challenging you, you're not growing. You, you only grow in challenge. You grow in, in, that's why we say, oh, love is pain. It's not that it's pain, but it's challenge, you know. Love and all these things that we want to, not love, but, 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 but growing, right? Growing as a human being. It's always challenging. So in art, is the same thing. If you want to be able to be seen, uh, you have to do something challenging. Like this is, this is, cha this, this, this shit doesn't come easy for me, you know. I'm like, man, I wish I was like, you know, I was like, thinner and more fit and and you know a better haircut you know and blah 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 and I wish I you know my English was a lot smoother and you know I got my point across faster because sometimes I'm like very redundant and blah 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 and I you know that whole thing goes in my mind as well but I have to do it because if I don't do it you guys are not going to know and other people are not going to know about me 
You know, I could be telling myself I'm the world's greatest living artist, but if I'm doing it from my home, in my studio, well, you know, good luck to me. I have to get other people to see what I'm doing. And, and that's my message today. You want to get other people to know what you're doing as well. You have to do that for yourself. It's, a, it's, the, it's the thing that will make you or break you as an artist, I believe. It's not your artwork. And I know a lot of people don't like this message. It, it's not your artwork. It's, it's the ability to get that beautiful artwork you got and share it with people. It's not your artwork alone. That's why so many artists have failed at it, you know, and we don't find out. That's why people say, oh, artists become great when they're dead. Well, yeah, because then they die and then we recognize this great art, you know, and they were like, oh, man, look at that. You know, it was like it was like lost, like nobody knew about it. Unless we're talking about like auctions and whatnot. That's a whole other that's a whole other topic. I'm talking about just artists that are not like this mega famous artist. Totally, totally. Artist, uh, artist, Elle said, uh, ex exposure is key to success at all times. You know, and not just as an artist, as anything. You're a realtor. Imagine if you got every billboard in your hometown and you're the, you're the billboard. Or if you got all this, uh, social media, like just burning, you know, crazy social media, you're going to, you're going to, you know, you're going to be so successful because people are going to be seeing you. It's, it's it, exactly, it's so true. Oh, okay. Let me let me read this. Ken Ken uh, Cordell says I'm fighting cancer. It's making me a better man, nicer man. That's 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 beautiful. I love that. All the strength, man. All the strength. D Tom says perfect uh, perfect timing. I'm too afraid to being criticized. You help <laughs> you help give me guidance. I love that. It's, it's really, it, it has, I think it has to do everything with that. You know, the reason why we don't show ourselves is because we're so afraid of being seen. We're so afraid of being judged. We're afraid of, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe you're not as, as, as pretty as you think you are or as handsome as you think you are. And you're like, man, if I show myself, I'm going to be exposed. <laughs> and especially on Instagram, you know, where we see all these models and whatnot. And maybe, maybe that's not, you know, maybe, maybe some people don't, don't mind that. But some people, some people may do. I don't mind that. But some people may be like, man, I mean, look at all these models. And then here I am showing my face. <laughs> I don't know. It happens the same thing with art. When I was creating my artwork and I saw all these people that were doing like great artwork. And I mean like, like super awesome. Like the, the lighting was perfect because they took, they take great photos, you know. They have these great cameras. And then there I was with my like dark videos creating my artwork. And I was like, man... Like, I'm going to be exposing myself, you know? <laughs> My stuff is not as tight as this guy's. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. It's not right now. Let's say that, right? Let's If you want to say that. Okay, well, I'm barely starting to paint. Maybe my stuff is not as good right now. Or I'm a, I'm a new photographer. Whatever you do, right? Sculpting, painting, whatever. Maybe I'm not as good right now. And, and I'm going to expose myself and blah, blah, blah. I talked about that right now in another video. What you want to do is, look, we saw Justin Bieber grow. Come on, guys. You know, like now he's like this mega star. But when he was a little kid, he was a little, little, little booger, he wasn't, he wasn't a mega star. He had talent. Yeah, he was practicing and whatnot. But we saw him grow, you know. And as we saw him grow, I think that that's what made, you know, it, it make us be like, oh, man, look at that. You know, we saw this kid grow and now he's like this mega star. And I think we, we fail to understand that that also is available to us. If you're starting to create artwork and you're not like where you want to be yet, it doesn't matter, document it, you know? Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about that. He's like, don't teach, document, you know, document. That's the best way to go about it. Right now, everybody wants to be a teacher. Maybe, maybe we're not all teachers, I'm sure. I'm not a teacher, but I love documenting and sharing. So I call it that, you know, I'm sharing my process. Guys, I'm sharing my process. Why? Because I'm not going to be talking about like, like I mentioned in another video right now, I said, I'm, I, I don't know how to sell a hundred thousand dollar painting yet. So I can't talk about that, but I can talk about like, man, how do I show up to the studio again today? I know about that. I've dealt with that. I've challenged with that and I know how to do it. I learned how to do it, you know, so I can talk about that. So you guys can talk about like, look, I'm learning how to shade and start talking about that. And you start creating that audience and people start following you. 
<laughs> Shana says, I'm not stalking you, I promise. LOL. <laughs> I'm just interested in everything you say. <laughs> Sometimes I don't catch you for a few days. I love that. Uh, Shinaz was just in my in my Facebook uh, live session on my fan page. <laughs> that was very sweet. She says, I'm not stalking you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you really quick. And... And I hope that you guys uh, uh, get any any uh, any any valuable content out of this. I, I hope that you guys get anything that would help you uh, advance in your career, advance in your in your message, in your artwork. You know, like I mentioned to you right now, maybe you're learning how to mix colors, and you're like, "Man, I'm not ready to make videos on teaching." Do don't teach. Share what you're learning. Say, "Look, today in my art class." I learned how to mix yellow and blue and how to make these green tones or whatever. Or I saw this video by, you know, whatever, Jose, right? <laughs> I saw this video by Jose and, and dude, what, what this guy said is really cool. Let me share this. I'm going to share this in this video. And, you know, and on and on and on. You know, I share videos where I'm like, this is what I learned from Tony Robbins. This is what I learned from Grant Cardone. This is what I learned from uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. Why? Because I'm sharing my process and you want to be able to do that. It's always, it will always come down to being seen. And don't worry in the beginning, whether it's perfect or not, or how much you talk about it or not. What you want to do is just get the muscle built. It's a muscle. You want to build that muscle. Until that muscle is strong enough, you'll know what to say. You'll start perfecting it. But what most of us do first is that we want to create a perfect message, perfect content. By the time that you want to share it, it might be too late, you know, it might be too late now. It might, and I'm not saying late in your life. It might be late in the sense that, that you waited too long. And now it's, it feels like you're starting over and over. This happened to me for a long time. It was like, man, I'm going to blog. Man, I was going to blog when blogs were popular. Imagine that. And I never got to it because I was like, oh, I got to create the perfect blog. No, stupid. Like, just blog about anything. Don't make it perfect. I'm talking to myself, right? This is what I told myself. It, but but I was waiting for the right moment to blog so that I could blog perfect, you know, so that it sounded eloquent and intelligent. And no, what I needed was to blog and get that muscle going and then get that momentum and then create the audience. And then I knew what, and then the audience gives you feedback and the audience starts telling you, hey, dude, don't talk about that because I don't really want to hear that. I want to hear about this. This is how I'm finding out. I'm very finding out what people want to hear. I know people want to hear about art marketing and how to sell their artwork and how to show up and blah, blah, blah. So I talk about those things and I talk about the things that I have experienced so that I'm not sounding like I'm trying to teach something because I, I'm not. I'm just talking about my experiences. So anyways, I just want to share that with you guys. Talk about the things that you're going through. That's a great way of doing it. I learned this from Gary Vaynerchuk. He says, don't teach, uh, uh, record, you know, record what you're doing and, and share that, you know. So I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, Ken says, uh, uh, thank you. I'm a corporate engineer in printing. This helps me. That's awesome. See you guys, <laughs> it's, it's totally awesome. I, I was a musician and I know that if I would have learned this stuff when I was a musician, I used to be a guitarist. I guess I still am, but I used to be a, a working musician. Uh, this would have helped me so much, you know. Uh, videos, YouTube was very new when I was when I was a, a, a musician and it would have helped me tremendously. I might have become a, a might have, shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? I might have become a, a, an internet sensation, <laughs> a YouTube sensation had I started when that started, you know, but, uh, but I did it. So now I have to start over again, right? And I'm doing it here on Instagram. I'm doing it on YouTube, of course, but it's not the same, right? Things, things, you know, things change. Oh, that's awesome. You play bass. You know, instruments, playing an instrument is like such a cool thing. I, I need to get back to it. I haven't, I haven't played in a, in a while now, but I need to get back to it. I need to buy myself a guitar. Jam out in the art studio. Who knows? Maybe I'll get a guitar here and start jamming to you guys. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, you see, we got a, a multi-artist multi here. Uh, I play trumpet, piano, and guitar. That's so awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys being here and joining me in this craziness. I know it's a ride. Everybody knows it's a ride, right? We all have this ride. And, and the more we can help each other and share messages. Look, I went through that. Be careful. There's a hole there, you know. Jump. Don't walk. Or walk around that. 
I mean, how cool is that, you know? So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the love, the hearts. And I will be talking to you guys uh, tomorrow again around this time, uh, noonish, uh, 1230, I believe, uh, mountain time. And I'm going to be showing you guys also uh, some of my process and how I paint stuff, how I paint happy little trees, little birdies and different stuff. I paint different stuff, guys, but I've been uh, experimenting with different uh, um, techniques and whatnot. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.